I always thought it would be cool to have my name in lights, and now I can with this awesome DIY LED spinning display. Let's build it. There's about 15 different parts you need to build the spinning display. Now, you may have some of these, but if not, there's a link in the description where you can get all the parts to build this kit really cheap. To start off with, you'll need a small strip of acrylic, and mine came with protective plastic on both sides, so I'll peel those off so we have a nice clear strip of acrylic. We'll also be using five 3mm LEDs. These are the smaller ones, and the ones I chose to use are yellow. Now, since these will be installed on our acrylic strip, we need to straighten out the leads. So, spread eagle LEDs, and then they'll be going on one end of the strip. We're gonna use some hot glue, a little dab will do ya, on the bottom of each LED, and glue those all in place. Now, when they're done, we're gonna bend the leads over, and you may have to clip the longer leads in the back so we don't have any shorts. Then we're gonna solder all of the negative leads of the LEDs together. Now this might be a little bit tricky, but I just used some old resistor clippings to make the jump between all the LEDs. It might not be pretty, but it works. Now it's time for a couple of more components, the two momentary switches and the 28 pin holder. The two momentary switches are used to program the display. And since these will also be mounted onto the acrylic strip, we need to bend all of those leads flat as well. I used a pair of needle nose pliers on the holder and then the momentary switches were easy to just bend and flatten out. Now it's time to lay those components out on the acrylic strip and hot glue them in place. The two momentary switches will be first and those will be together, followed by our little power switch, which will go right next to the momentary switches, followed by the holder, which is gonna go right next to that. And the button cell battery holder will also go on the strip. Those leads don't need to be flattened because it just straddles the strip, so glue that in place. When we're done, all of our components are ready to go. Now it's time to get to the wiring and we'll run a wire from the negative side of our battery holder to the negative strip of our LEDs. Then another wire will go to our IC chip holder. Now I'm not gonna go through each wire and where it goes because I'll provide all that information for you at a link in the description of this video. There are a few wires that'll go from the switches to the IC holder, so we'll solder those in place, and then it's time for the wires that go to the LEDs. We have five LEDs total, so a wire will go from each positive lead of the LED to different pins on the IC holder. Then it's time to carefully line up and insert the pre-programmed ATmega8 chip into the holder. Pop in a CR2032 button cell battery, and flip on the power switch. Now, the LEDs should be flashing. If they're not, double check your wiring, make sure everything is where it should be, and make sure you have no shorts. Now, to get this whole thing to spin, we need a small motor. And we're gonna attach the shaft of the motor to our acrylic strip using, you guessed it, hot glue. So make a big pile of hot glue and insert the motor. Make sure just the shaft is in the hot glue. You don't wanna glue the whole motor in place or nothing will spin. Once the hot glue is hardened, it's time for the AA battery holder. So we're gonna solder one wire from the battery holder to the motor, and another wire will go from the battery holder to our other little switch, and then we'll need a separate wire that goes from the switch to the other end of the motor. Then to finish it up, we're gonna hot glue the motor to the back of the AA battery holder, and we'll also hot glue the little switch to the back of the battery holder as well. Our LED spinning display is done. And it's awesome. And those two momentary switches we installed, one moves the characters up and down the line and the other one changes the characters. So we can change what it says, like to Casper, my favorite mattress. I was skeptical about a mattress delivered to my door in a box, but they're totally comfortable. And it's because they're a high tech hybrid mattress that combines latex foam and memory foam. And they carry a 10 year warranty. Now don't go store to store shopping for a mattress when Casper will send you theirs to try out for 100 nights. That's over three months. If you really don't like it, they'll come and get it for free and refund your money. And as an added bonus, Kip K fans get an additional $50 off by going to my link, casper.com slash Kip K and using the promo code Kip K. I'm proud to have Casper as a supporter of my channel and you'll be proud to own a Casper mattress. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.